Good morning, everyone. So this morning, um, as most of you know because you watch our vlogs, I am getting treatment for lipedema, which means my legs will have to be wrapped uh, 23 hours a day for the next probably several years or for the rest of my life. So uh, I am embracing this journey because I know that I will be out of a lot of my pain once I start getting my legs wrapped. I am going to take out all of my clothes from my drawers so I will not have any pants anymore. Um, I still do need to buy some booty shorts. I cannot find booty shorts specifically for my size right now. Um, anywhere that's like affordable so if you have an idea of like booty shorts that I can wear because of the therapies that I'm doing for my legs and my joints. I have EDS as well. Uh, the therapies I'm doing, the man basically lays on me and stretches out my hip, which is out of place right now, and my knee, which is out of place right now. Um, so I do need to wear some booty shorts under my dresses so I can be completely 100% covered up. I am pretty modest. Um, I'm, yeah, I am pretty modest. Like, I, I do like to show some skin, but I also want my stuff to be covered up especially during therapy. So I went from being in Israel having really hardly any clothes at all because when I went shopping there it was very very hard to find my size. Actually I still don't know what people do who were my size or basically when I left Israel I was able to go to shop at a store but they kept my clothes in the back. Um, that's what happened. My clothes were there they were my size, but they were in the back, and I actually had to ask for them. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I do believe a lot of people shop online, shop overseas online uh, in Israel if they are bigger. Because a lot of the clothes, um, I know there was one store, but every clothes that I tried on there, it just didn't fit right. It wasn't, it wasn't right. Um, like it would be way too long, like they think Israelis are really, really tall if they're big, um, or it just, it, it just wasn't right. But I went from that place, that place of not being able to have any clothes really, um, to a place where, look what I just got the other day at, uh, Goodwill. And it's a, it's amazing to go from that to go to this. Michael Kors at Goodwill. Extra large. And it's a beautiful shirt. So I went from having no clothes to having an overabundance of clothes. So basically I'm super happy. Um, I'm going to take out all of Hadar's clothes. He's not going to have a closet anymore. He's going to have drawers because all of these drawers are going to be his because these have my like sweatpants, my uh, you know, jogging pants for when I go jogging. <laughs> uh, all of my yoga pants for when I do yoga. Basically my clothes that go over my legs. I'm getting, um, not getting rid of them, actually. This is that beautiful dress that I got, Abigail, at Goodwill. Beautiful dress. It's inside out right now, I think. But yeah, beautiful. So... I have a lot of work to do, as you can see, because I have to hang all this stuff up and I have to take out his stuff, fold it up very nicely, and put it in the drawer. I'm going to do the um, KonMari method, and I am going to go through my closet right now of clothes that I don't wear. I literally don't wear them. I have them because they fit me. And that's how I've lived for the past <laughs> 20 years. I have clothes because they fit me. And now I can have clothes and have a choice because I have lost weight. And I'm at a weight where people donate stuff like this. And I'm able to buy it affordably at Goodwill. And thank God for that, honestly. Because that, that boosts my motivation. It boosts my self-confidence. Uh, thank God for that. <laughs> you know, people losing weight, people gaining weight, whatever. And they donate clothes. Or they just don't wear it or they get, they get tired of it or whatever. Thank you for doing that. Uh, we donate a lot of a lot of stuff, me and my mom, um, especially kids like 
stuffed for the uh, stuffed animals for police officers. We donated tons and tons of those um, for them to give to the kids when they have a stressful situation. So this is my closet. This is a situation that we're dealing with here. Um, I've just basically thrown everything here and forgot about it, not dealt with it. Walk around the bed, leave. Don't deal with it. Um, so all of those clothes are going. It's going to be filled with my clothes. I know that's so selfish. But you know what? It's time to think about myself too. And for a long time, I, I didn't think about myself and I just throw things in a box or whatever and I, I don't take care of myself and I need to do that. I need to start doing that. I need to make that a priority because if I'm not taking care of myself, how am I going to take care of anybody else? You know what I mean? It is true. It literally is true. And when my tank is on E, I can't help anybody. So I need to uh, start taking care of myself, just like basic needs, you know, that I have been not doing. Also got this shirt for Abigail at Goodwill. It's got cats on it. Raphael said, thank you so much. Just so he can look at it, because he just loves cats. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this. Can you believe these shorts fit me? <laughs> They're a size large. I got these at a uh, yard sale. These are part of my booty shorts. No, they're size extra large Nike, but they're so small. Like, I can't even believe they go over me. And my mom, I was talking to her yesterday. She was like, does that fit you? And I said, yeah, it fits. And, you know, I showed her it fits. I'm, I'm wearing it, right? And then she's like, well, that wouldn't fit me. And then she put it on and it fit her just the same as it would me. I was like, I look bigger. I look bigger than I am. It's so weird. And she saw firsthand yesterday that when I try clothes on, I'm like, that will never fit me. And then it fits me and I'm like, what? What happened here? It's so weird. Hey, baby girl, are you going to help me today with my clothes? Are you? I have to also show you what is in this huge box there. It's pretty awesome. Right, we're just going to have some simple tacos. The cheese is frozen, so I'll have to microwave it a little bit. Got some refried beans some salsa and some sour cream oh and some lettuce and also my mom brought this over I have to wash it the bread maker so I'm going to see if I can make some bread have so much almond flour coconut flour that I could probably make um, gluten-free bread out of that I just have to find a really good recipe so I'll be experimenting with that I think while we have this great weather we're gonna go to the store real quick maybe stop by a park and it'll be me and Raphael you're the best. Hug. <laughs> I love parks. And it's the virus, so that's very rare now. Very yeah. rare for us. Not yeah. when there's more people at the park. When there's more, then we don't need that. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go in and take the trash out, too, while we're at it. Go ahead. Right here. There we go. Good pup. Good pup. All right. So, Raphael is uh, already all the way up there. Didn't even arrive yet. Rudy is with me, too. I let her off the leash, carrying the leash with me. And uh, there's no one here. So we're good to go. I think I'm going to leash her up and take her on a quick walk though, but she really wanted to sniff around and I'm on top of her, so it should be good. She must sniff it all. She just wanted to sniff so bad. I figure I'd just let her. She's very obedient too, so it's great. Hey. I must be getting used to doing eight-year-old stuff. Like what? Running there and all the way back, non-stop. You going to get up on here? <laughs> Monkey bars? Yeah, I need some help reaching. I practice a little bit with the trapeze. But I don't want to do with that upside down flip again. Mm-hmm. Because I'll have to continue with my feet. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rudy, come here. Good puppy. Five to 12. I'm about to What's be eight, up, so puppy? I'm fine. I'm about to be eight, so Are I'm you going to be able to get up there? Well, probably, but not by myself. <laughs> okay. I'll help you out. You got it. Yep. Finally. There we go. We haven't been in this park in a month, I think. This is slippery. Go ahead. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to slip. All right. Now At least we tried. It's a nice try. I got a new high score today. High score yeah, of two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even do that. I barely did that one to that one. Okay, then what would you like to do? Oh, how about you run with me? 
film me go there and back. Eight-year-old stuff. Jeez. Ready? Eight-year-old and back. Are you ready? Are you ready to run, ready? All right. But I'm just... Let's go together. Days away from an eight-year-old. Let's go together. Come with me. Ready for another lap? Not really. I need a big break. Uh, Here we go. Go. Five, four. Three, She's ready for it. Two, one, go. When you don't know which is mulch and which is just leaves off the tree. What's mulch? These wood chips. Oh, there's the ground. Ooh, it's so soft. Are you going to show us how you swing all the way up? Yeah, but I need some help getting on first. You got to jump. We're trying to do as much as possible on our own. <laughs> I mean, I don't you want to jump backwards, I feel. Hold on to the chains. Rudy, what's that? <laughs> Are you a dog or a cat? Um, you want to hang on to the chains with the two hands as high as you can and jump yourself upwards. There we go. You pulled up. Jeez, I, what's going on? I think that's the first time she's ever done that in any park. What's up? It's going crazy since you learned how to do it. I got our daily workout, about 30 minutes, and uh, it's time to go to the store and then go home. Man, that was good. So she's been looking at something here for a while now. We're back home. What is it? She's really wanting to get it, whatever it is. It might be a spider. But anyway, she loves this chair. That's her favorite new place to sit. And since we have the door shut, our door to our bedroom shut, Andrea has been starting to do this. So she can't possibly get out and she likes hanging out here. It's also been about 80 degrees, so it's pretty nice now. Most of the country, from what I've heard from friends, is just frozen already. Snow and ice and everything, and here it's just a mere 80. All right, kitty, you go ahead and chill out or something, you know? You're not a huntress, you're just a, a lazy cat. Do your part. Hey guys, so here's my stack of dresses. And Hadar and I are hanging the clothes up and we have, we're color coding it right now, which is gonna be really nice for me <laughs> to just look in and see what I have uh, and organize. I have probably about six shirts that I have decided to get rid of. Uh, one of them has paint on it accidentally when I painted my Oops. kitchen cabinets. Thank I you much. accidentally painted a white spot on my red shirt. One shirt I am keeping um, <laughs> that I got at Goodwill the first time that I have paint on uh, from outside accidentally splattered on me. Uh, I'm keeping that as my painting shirt and I use it with the kids. And um, yeah, I have to go through a box of stuff and put all of my pants into a box. My mom says, don't get rid of your pants. And I was like, but I'm losing weight. She's like, yeah, don't get rid of your pants. And yeah, I've gotten rid of my pants twice before and it was a bad idea because I wasn't able to replace them. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to do that. So stay tuned because this will be done now. Yeah, we got black clothes here and it goes all the way down, all the way to white. So black, brown, blue, green, purple, pink. Yeah. A good thing to come out of today, we found Abigail's lovey. I wondered where this was. I knew she had a really little tiny one and it was under the bed when we were looking for hangers. I am missing about four hangers right now and uh that is it i have to reorganize like this little drawer thing that i have i'm gonna put our swimsuits in that and have a bin for my skirts and my dresses it's gonna be nice this is a huge um block for me clothes it's always been a huge block for me when we went to uh vacation right we had an easier time we were living in a hotel room for 30 days and that was actually the easiest time that i've ever had to get ready and the reason was was because i loved everything that i had in my closet and i had all of my stuff very easy makeup uh like four things of makeup uh, face i I, yeah, eyelash, uh, lipstick. I think that's all I had. So three things of makeup. And uh, it was just very easy. And that's how I want to live. Just very easy. I want to get ready. 
and have it be very easy. I am too short. This is a very tall dresser. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's looking really good in here. I am super stoked about it. I do have a light. Let's see if it works. Not really. It's a push light. It's not as bright as I thought it would be. Anyway, the whites are down there. I have some pinks, orange, red. Hedara really did a good job at like separating the colors and stuff. So these are some of my favorite shirts. Love that. Yeah. So happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> I have bad luck on my birthday, as you know, people yeah. die. Usually I can't wear skirts like this because mm -hmm. They make me look twice as big. So. No, that looks good on you. Does it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. But it is not a tumor. <laughs> it's, it's just a hard, lumpy fat. Yeah.